It's all talk. Hey, 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 it's all talk. Hey, 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 it's all talk. Work hard, work hard. Hey, hey, it's all talk. Hey, hey, it's all talk. We do. Hey, hey, it's all talk. Spread the word. Hey, hey, it's all talk. We all about. Hey, look, huh? Talk, talk, spread diversity. Gonna make it happen for the students is our destiny. This is how we better IUP and community. Talk, talk, bring the culture together. It's like community. Conclusively, we work together better as one. Let's make a change and do it big and get the mission done. Talk, talk, so make sure that you tell somebody. We gotta stay connected, educate everybody. Talk, talk. Hey, hey, it's all talk. Talk, talk. Hey, hey, it's all talk. Talk, talk. Hey, hey, it's all talk. Hey, hey, it's all talk. Taylor and I'm Tyrone. Yes, so it's that time of year again. It's Christmas. Yes, so. I'm so ready. Are you yes, ready for Christmas? I'm ready to just be home with my family, eat mm -hmm. some good food, get some presents. Yes. Like I'm excited. What about you? I'm so ready for Christmas. I love Christmas time. I love the energy, the yes. vibes. Yes, you know the, the things you do with your family, yes. eat and taking trips, all mm -hmm. of that. Like, do you drink eggnog? I love. Eggnog. I love. Okay, because yes. people be saying eggnog is nasty, oh, but I, I love. I love, some I, love eggnog. Egg. I love the ice. I love everything. Yeah. About I eggnog. love Let me eggnog. Tell you. Eggnog's good. It's so good. Yeah, I don't know why people don't like and it. You like, get more to feel when you drink it. Okay, too. yeah. Oh my gosh, eggnog is yes. great. That's why I love when Christmas comes. Yes. I wish it was a year-round thing, but for real, because well, everybody, I feel like they all in like a better mood. Right. Yeah. yeah. You get like when you feel as like everybody being all nice, giving and stuff. Yes. So yes. I feel like it puts you in a better mood. Speaking on giving, did you get any gifts yet? You start buying gifts? And no, I didn't start buying any gifts yet. I'm gonna wait till I get home to start working, and then when I start getting some money, I'm gonna try to uh, ask my mom and my sister what they want for Christmas. So they didn't tell me what they. Want want yet yeah. so what about you how about your mom and your brothers um I don't know. I, I gotta see. I did start like taking pictures of some stuff. Okay. You know, seeing like how much it is and stuff. So <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm just start, you know, starting small. Start yeah. You know, and getting one here, getting one there. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as I give out a little something. A little something, yeah. okay. You know? So do you um, set up the Christmas tree? Do y'all do I that? I do. Again? I help my mom set up the house. She does that like every okay. year. She really looks forward to the house, even mm -hmm. though I don't be looking forward to it. I'll be tired. Okay, tired. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there'll be a lot of ornaments on the tree. Yes, it's so much, yes. so much. So, uh, but, you know, Oh, after it is done, it, it really looks nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's great. Yeah. I that's really great. like that. How about you? Do you help out? Um, we used to set up the Christmas tree in the house, but I think we started getting lazy, so we don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. We just be like, it's whatever. When we when it's time to wake up in the morning, we just go in my mom's room. She just give us the presents on the bed, say thank you, go back to sleep. <laughs> like, we, just, right. we, we just exchange our gifts, and you know, I you like to get my video games, so I go play in my room, mm -hmm. play yeah. that, and I just go to sleep. You know, I'd be thankful because that's all I, I want for that's Christmas true. is video games. Right, so. that's true. Did you ever get a gift that you didn't like? Um, yes, I have, <laughs> but you know what? At the end of the day, you have to be thankful for it because it is the thought that counts from the fam. So, that's very what true. about you? I got some shoes I didn't really like. My mom got me, but she got we I still wore them though, but right. yeah, I, you know, that's like you said, it, it's just about the, just the, the giving and being thankful right. for it. That's, that's the, the yes. key thing about the time of the year. Let me ask you, so would you like rather somebody tell you what they're going to buy you? Or would you just rather somebody just, you know, surprise thing? Um, I like a surprise. Yeah. I think I like a surprise. Because if you tell me, it's like, uh, okay, it's not really like a surprise anymore. I just, I just like surprises. Yeah. So I like to be surprised. I feel like I like a surprise too. But I don't know. Sometimes I would, certain people, I would say, you know, well, you can just have me give me five dollars. Give me five dollars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me just right. give you something to eat. As a kid, <laughs> did you, like, look into the presents to see what you got? You know I you did. You know I yeah. <laughs> I wanted to but, see. Yo, listen. And that's the one thing. I used to love when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, Like, for my real. mom used to just set it all under, under the tree. Yes. Oh, let me ask you. Did your mom, like, at 12 o'clock, she used to let us open one gift? Yeah, one gift! <laughs> <laughs> We kids, y'all. At 12 o'clock. No, yeah, yeah, on Christmas yeah. Eve, I'm on baby. She would just gift. open one 
one yes, gig. Yes. And then like when she used to go upstairs and stuff like that. Yes, we yeah. Me and my brother used to go run downstairs. Yes. You said like Duke to the face. Like, yes. Oh my gosh. Like, oh and, my gosh. And then you just couldn't wait till next morning, even That's though we kind of peed. I would never go to sleep. Yes. I would just be like, whoa. Yeah, I really like I really think. You know, somewhat, we lost that type I of know. feeling. I know. Well, is it because we're getting older now? I think so. I think because we're getting older. You and know, it's like, when it my mom so asks me for gifts, I don't like ask for that much anymore. It's like, whatever you give me, you give me. Like, I'm going to still be happy regardless. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, as a kid, like, Christmas was that definitely. That was the best thing, right? though. It yes. really was. Oh, uh, the good time. You see how we got hyped real yeah. quick? Yeah, <laughs> so lit, though. I, that, that was, was really super so lit. lit. Yeah. Okay, so um, what are you doing for New Year's? Like, expectations? Um, I don't know yet i hope i don't have to work but i would definitely love to go out somewhere because i never yes. went out for new year's so right and you, this year gotta be the year you got that holiday what's that that big thing oh up? capricorn season my birthday <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey. So, you know i yes. am I'm, I'm grown now so <laughs> grown. listen <laughs> yes what's that beyonce song what's that beyonce i'm a grown hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah I yeah do whatever i want, I want. <laughs> You already know, y'all. I'm excited. Yes. So what about you, though? What you doing for New Year's? I'm very, I love the New Year's because it's like, this is a time you get to get dressed up. Right, you right. You go out. I'm ready to take a trip. Yes. Like, I'm ready to go to, like, New York, D.C. New York. So you're going to stand out there when that ball drops. Listen, <laughs> when that ball drops, I'm dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to turn up. I say, everybody, no, listen, you got one dude. life to live. Have fun, just be yes. safe. Yes, you know, adventure be, be safe. Yes, definitely yes, go definitely out. Definitely be safe. You yes. got to take precautions because you know people crazy around People year. are very crazy They're around crazy. this year. So be safe, y'all. Y'all going out for New Year's for sure. Yes. yes. Well, that's all the time we have now for Tay and Ty. We hope you enjoyed it very much. <laughs> all right, we love y'all very much, and we hope to see you next year. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Year, y'all. See y'all. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's time for another week of Slay the Week on Hawk Talk. And today, it was a little special because we was at Poison's event. And everybody got dressed up tonight. So y'all gonna see a couple of the baddies and a couple other gentlemen that was on the show. So let's go see. Hey. Here we have Kayla. And she's gonna slay the week because, wait, look at Kayla. Turn around, Kayla. <laughs> All right, so what you got on today? This is Fashion Nova. Shoes, Fashion Nova. Pants, Fashion Nova. Shirt, Forever 21, jacket, Forever 21, glasses. This is exclusive, I can't say where I got the glasses from. Okay. But you know. No, that's right. That's so how would you expect me to come out today? Like, you would expect the crowd to be dressed up or? Yeah. I would expect it to be how it was. Pop out, okay. So compared to other schools, how do you think the Fashion IP campus is? It's okay when they try. When they try. I know that's really right. Up and they, you you, know, you, you, you see the same faces who really be dressing up and Right? Yeah. On a regular, we just be chilling. But when we pop out, we pop out. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. So here we have Tasha. And she's giving Urban Chic Day lesson. Okay. Yeah. Give him a little something. All right. Good vibes only. You see the jacket. What you got on? What you got on today for us? Um, you know, I really love to tell people stuff from. Okay. Like, I understand. Um, but you know, like Air Mix. And she got the, the hater blocker going. <laughs> I read about a second ago. <laughs> so, compare, like, how do you think people popped out today? Like, um, I think they was good. You know, people showed up. They was cute. I like a lot of people's outfits. Everybody showed up the furs because it's first season. I was right. Good. Everybody did have the furs on. I said, okay. It was really good. All right. So, here we have China. And I know y'all seen this face before. <laughs> she was on Slay of the Week already because China be playing. What you got on today, China? She. I wasn't ready for this pop out though. <laughs> what kind of vibes are you giving today? You don't know. <laughs> you're real laid back, but you're still out there though. The shoes. Okay. So, what, would you, like, what kind of fashion you was expecting tonight? I think it turned out well. Everybody. Everybody was looking cute. Everybody was looking good. Okay, so, you can spend China. Why you didn't get on the stage trying to put that shred? You're not excited to take yourself? No. All right. All right. Draymond. Draymond. What you got on today? I got packs on. All packs on. All packs on and MCM. MCM. And what's MCM? Air Forces. Air Forces. OK. Show the belt. So we got our 
Pop Talk Play of the Week boy. You know, we don't usually get a lot of boys, but Draymond, he, he said he's going to pop out for us. So how would you expect in the uh, crowd to look like? Uh, I wanted a lot of people. But a lot of people, a lot of girls. He actually. was performing tonight too. I was. And you got fresh afterwards. You got Ducky afterwards too. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you think the fashion for the boys on campus? Uh, it's, it's good, but I want more though. I want, I more, want more, more too. I'm trying to see some more slayage out here. I know we can do it, IEP. What you think? Uh, we can do it. We can do it. We got it. So, we have. So, Marco. Lola. How many of y'all think they're familiar? You, you remember them? <laughs> They gonna be on stage with the kids around campus. I'm gonna be around campus. What y'all got on today? Uh, this is a black and black suit. Uh, extra, extra large. Uh, I love Asos. I don't even know I got this from, but okay. this is um, Asos G as well. <laughs> and I got the, the Rihanna Fenty Pumas. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what you got on today? Um, I got Urban Outfit sweater and Asos pants mm -hmm. and. <laughs> Dr. Martin! Dr. Martin! Uh, Sneaker Villa? Sneaker Villa? <laughs> I always see y'all around campus and it kind of seems like y'all be matching each other. Do y'all be saying this? Or y'all just styles just match? I, I know that type because every time I see y'all, I'm like, yo, they look like they just plan this or something. <laughs> so, how do you think the fashion at IUP is? It's okay. It's okay. How do you think the fashion at IUP is? I mean, like, it could be better. It could you know, be better. There's always room for improvement. I think it's potential. I, I, I want to see, 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 see them black people shine. Yes, we got to be pulling out the black excellence. I know that's right. Like, glow in the dark type. Glow in the dark type. We got to link up and put on some type of fashion show or something. Y'all want to see that? Yeah, we have Nala. And I know y'all see Nala on that video with us. I think y'all did right, cuz. She hopped in and... You walked in like you think it's competition, huh? Mm -hmm. I know you did. <laughs> so what you got on for us? Um, well, my shoes are from Charlie Bruce. Mm -hmm. My pants are from Maddie Avenue. Okay. Um, my bodysuit is from Boohoo. Right. And like my, my jacket is from Pretty Little Things. Okay. She popped out. Can you get a spin for us, Nala? Because I think they need to remember this outfit. So how do you think the fashion on IEP campus is? Um, I think it's diverse. Diverse. <laughs> um, unique. Some people can really dress. Some people can. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pop out. Yeah, like, they really pop out. out. <laughs> I am a fashion major. You I are. You pop are. out. So y'all gonna see Nala some more because she's yes. a fashion major. Yes. yes. All right, turn around. Let's give it one more time. This is the winner. Yes. This is the winner on best dress. Yep. It sure enough was. Here we have Aj. And can you tell us what you got on Aj? Um. So I was styled. Yeah. You probably. You guys. Wait, wait, wait. You guys probably wonder why Nala is back up here, but. She styled her. Yes. So, it's my creation. She's actually a fashion major, so we're just going to showcase Nala work real quick. <laughs> what you got on? Okay. Oh, Maddie Avenue. Okay. Her from Maddie Avenue. Her sweater is from Sasha. Okay. Her jeans are vintage, and her shoes are Steve Madden. So, where'd you get your inspiration from? Um, So y'all seen how everybody popped out for Poise's event. And I'm going to see some of y'all start popping up more on campus so y'all can be on Slay of the Week. Thank you. We need an idea. So let's go through some things. How about a group of kids that hunt for ghosts?
to Hawk Talk News. I'm Rachel Laskowski. And I'm Taylor Jones. Here's the latest news that's going on around IUP's campus and other current events. The IUP football team improved its outstanding record to 10-0 and completed their first undefeated regular season since 1993. They took victory over Mercyhurst University with a defeating score of 36-0. After starting off slow, they got on the scoreboard in the second half, where they put 29 points on the board. Then we headed over west to Westchester, where the Crimson Hawks captured the PSAC title. We are now ranked number one in the region, as well as number one for Division II schools across the United States. The dance group Poise had their Cinderella Story event, which was a huge success. It was a packed house, and people enjoyed the entire show. Hall Talk got to host it along with another host. Schools such as Shippensburg, Westchester, and Bloomsburg came to perform in the show and they all had excellent performances. Thank you, Poise, for letting us have this opportunity to host your event. We can't wait for the next one. Eberly College of Business and Information Technology will be holding a business seminar on December 19th and January 16th at 7 p.m. This seminar will help inform its audience how to take the first step in creating their own business. This will help aspiring entrepreneurs to begin the process of successful business ownership, including developing an efficient business plan and exploring different financing options. It costs $15 to attend, but veterans and the unemployed may, atten may attend for free. Tis the season for giving. The sorority Zeta Phi Beta had a holiday drive at the Hub. They accepted items such as gift tags, toiletries, and canned food for the Indiana community. Make sure to stop by their table and give as much as you can. Thank you, Zeta Phi Beta, for all that you're doing for the Indiana community. On December 7th, a conversation corner will be held at 5.30 p.m. in Iker Hall, room 208. This is an opportunity where both domestic and international students can meet and practice different languages and learn about different cultures. This event is open to all IEP students and free pizza will also be there. Billionaire Bill Gates is personally investing $50 million to help fund research to find a treatment for Alzheimer's disease, a type of dementia that Gates says has struck members of his own family. There is no cure for Alzheimer's, which destroys memory and other mental processes. So Gates said he is investing his own money in the Dementia Discovery Fund, a private-public partnership to search for a solution. More than 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's, and this number is expected to grow as the population ages. Thank you, Bill Gates, for stepping forward and wanting to find a cure. The winter commencement is coming up for 2017. The graduate student ceremony will be held at 9.30 a.m. in Fisher Auditorium, and the undergraduate student ceremony is at 1 p.m. in the KCAC. A live webcast will be available for friends and family who are unable to attend as well as an interactive map of IUP. For more information, head to iup.edu and click on December 2017 Commencement. Three UCLA basketball players that were accused of shoplifting in China have finally returned home to Los Angeles. They were being questioned on suspicion of stealing sunglasses from a Louis Vuitton store near their hotel. They could have been kept in China for weeks, but President Trump has asked China's president to intervene. Trump has said that China's president had been helpful in working to resolve the case. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Make sure to catch us on the next episode to see what's happening around IUP's campus. But stay right there. Up next is Hawk Hour. My name is Eric Doe. I play safety for IUP football. I'm Devon Barnes. I play guard for IUP football. And you're, and you're watching, watching the, the big hit, hit on IUP TV for all Crimson Hawk coverage. coverage. Hey guys, I'm Pope, and I'm your host for e bs Weekly Movie Review. Each week, I'll bring you my opinion on the most recent and hottest films in theaters and new to DVD. e &B airs every Tuesday at 10 p.m. on IUP TV, Channel 20. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at e &B underscore IUP TV, and keep an eye out on our Facebook page for some weekly behind-the-scenes photos and updates for the show. Tune in next week for my movie reviews. See you then. viewers, it's time for Hawk Hour. We're your hosts. I'm Caitlin. I'm Taylor. I'm Rachel. I'm Brooke. So it's December and that means we finally get to celebrate Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> we get to listen to Christmas music, drink eggnog, set up <laughs> the Christmas trees with our families. We also can't forget about celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. So does anybody have any Christmas traditions? <laughs> <laughs> 
The one I have is um, on Christmas Eve, I always go to my grandparents' house and we celebrate that. And then on Christmas morning, we wait until they get yeah. to our house to like open up the presents. And it's, it's just, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's fun. I like it. Mm -hmm. I usually spend the night over at my aunt's house on Christmas Eve and like the few days before that. But I have a baby brother and now he's actually getting into Christmas and Santa Aww. and all that that's again. Exciting. So yeah. our traditions are going to change. But yeah. Oh, okay. We don't um we really do anything in our house. We literally cook the night before, and the day of we open up. I mean, we wake up like really early, like seven. Open the presents, and then after that, it's just we watch movies and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Christmas movies. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. me, I think we just go to church on Christmas Eve, and then my nana will come over. We'll get our Christmas pajamas every single year and sleep in those, and then just wake up, open presents, and then just go back to her house for dinner. So oh, yeah, nice. do the same thing about every year. So, what's the best gift you guys have received for Christmas? Ooh, that's a tough one. I yeah, that's hard. I'm um, trying to think too. Well, like, what's the best? I think gift I got I one. I... Um, so about two years ago, I th I went on a cruise with my boyfriend and his family, and for one of my Christmas presents, he actually got me this excursion to go swimming with the dolphins oh, on an island. So that so definitely so cool. takes oh, the cake. So that had dolphins are so my favorite. Nice. Yeah. How was it? Oh it was awesome. I cried like three times. <laughs> he was like, shut up. That's so awesome. Yeah, it was so much fun. Oh, that's so nice. I'm trying to think of the best gift. I think the best gift I got. <laughs> the best gift I got was a $50 Nick's four cord. But you know, um, it was a thought that mattered because I really like Dick's. I really that's like shopping Yeah, that's a good present. I'd be thankful for um, that. A few weeks before <laughs> Christmas, we got our dog, a Great Dane, and Aww. she's literally my best friend. And I don't know what I would do without her. Uh -huh. I also have another dog, but he's pretty great too. But <laughs> she, she's my favorite thing in this world, and I don't know. Like, she's awesome. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'd have to say mine would be every year my mom gets me these like themed calendars. <laughs> And I, don't know, I just love them so much. <laughs> like I just wait every year to see which one she chooses. Like it could be like, like a TV movie, like anything. I just like I, I like Aww. opening it. So I just like it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so with presents, are you guys like the types to like shop like weeks in advance, or like are you guys like last minute shoppers? Or, last like, minute. For last sure. minute to the T. Last minute to the T. To the T. Even for wrapping, I remember one time my sister was on Twitter and I looked at her Twitter and it said, "We still haven't opened up presents because Rachel still has to wrap hers." It was Christmas morning. Oh, no. I still didn't wrap my presents yet. <laughs> But it's okay, they got them. It's wow. fine. Everything worked out. It's a process for me to wrap <laughs> gifts, honestly. It takes me like it's 10 years. years to wrap one I gift. I love it. At it. I love wrapping presents. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. See, I just get lazy and I just buy a bag and I buy some <laughs> stuff that go on the top and they're right in there and keep mm -hmm. pushing. See, I'm the type of person that will plan <laughs> weeks in ahead and like get the presents and try to like get something everyone actually really enjoys mm -hmm. and then wrap them and there's never presents under the tree and I'm usually the first one to put them under there. Mm -hmm. So oh, that's nice. yeah. So Christmas they all get their other stuff, but I always have my stuff under there first. Oh, oh nice. That's really nice. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> Do you guys usually like shop like actual stores or are you guys like more like online now? Online for sure. I hate going mm -hmm. shopping. <laughs> I've never really shopped online before. Yeah, no, not really. Mostly I'm like just a solid Amazon. Half. <laughs> I mean, I've ordered some stuff off of Amazon, but that's because school forced me to. But like yeah. for gifts and everything. I don't think I have before. I no, like never. getting the full like Christmas experience mm -hmm. and like going yeah. out shopping, seeing the big Christmas trees oh, and everything. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think that's like, really I good enjoy too. that. Yeah, that's fun. I enjoy seeing sale. When the sale yeah, Melissa, like, seventy percent off. Like, I'm like, 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 <laughs> we say the same ones like every single year. Go to the gym, get better grades, eat better. <laughs> yeah, Holy I think actually my new resolution is going to be maybe go harder for gifts and put more thought into it. But Honestly, like definitely, definitely be more one. thoughtful. Um, I definitely feel like this year I go closer to God, and that was like that was like one of my biggest resolutions. That's All the rest of them though, I. Got to try it again. <laughs> That's really yeah. nice. Give up within like the first couple weeks. Well, <laughs> next year. Yeah, I was, next strong. Year. Yeah, like, yeah, I, had, I was strong in the beginning and then it fell off and yeah. it got back going and it's falling off again. So I'm going to redeem myself mm -hmm. next year. <laughs> well, 
that's it for Hawk Hour. And don't forget, if you guys want to leave your opinion, don't forget to tweet us at IEP Hawk Talk. Until then, see you next year. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>so how does it feel right now to like this big day that you like look so forward to like what can you say to feeling you would say right now i feel good but just trying to process everything together i mean it was a long journey my dad did this exactly 29 years ago from this day so it's something special to me but now it's just all the work starts now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. still trying to process everything so, so what made you want to be a part of five beta sigma well overall i definitely was searching for that brotherhood but also, I just wanted to be a part of something where, you know, I could be more, do more, serve people. And, uh, you know, it's been a goal of mine for a while because I never had brothers growing up. And, right. uh, well, actually, I did, but my little brother died at birth, so it's hard to hear. big for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it sounds like this means a lot to you. So, being as though that you are a part of this organization, what can you say, like, the changes that may occur in you as a man and as a person? I would say definitely uh, to make a higher standard on campus as far as uh, just students period, as far as uh, school-wise, grade-wise, uh, and even future as far as uh, job opportunities and stuff. Uh, definitely have to be more professional, but uh, with everything being said, just going to take one step at a time. Mm -hmm. so, and anything you want to say to anybody like that, you know, that are looking for like guidance mm -hmm. and think that you think that they should join an organization like this? Mm -hmm. Where is you would say to somebody else? I would say don't advance your steps. Always mm -hmm. make one step at a time. As soon as you try to take two, when you fall back down, you got to start all over. So baby steps, you'll get there, but you just got to stay focused. That's all. Well, thank you so much for this interview, and congratulations on that. Yeah, thank Sigma. you so much. No problem. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. All right, guys. Hey, guys, I'm Haley. I'm Kane. Hi, I'm Haley, and you're watching Witticism. You're watching Witticism. And you're watching Witticism. one because we will be talking about the historic journey and successful season of the Crimson Hawks. Welcome, Thank Coach you. Tort and Lenny. Thank I'm you. glad to see you here today. So, Coach Tort, what is your philosophy to coaching and its relationship to education? Well, I think coaching, much like teaching, uh, when you have students or athletes that are under your leadership, I think one of the things that uh, is very important is they, they need to know you care about them just as much as how much you really know. You know, as a player, as a student, I think that uh, either a teacher or a coach really has to show either the students or the players that he really cares about them other than just football. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a way that they will uh, find you as, as their leader. Uh, it's kind of like you have to know them before you can get them to follow you. 
Is it hard trying to build a relationship with each player that you have on your team? Well, not really. I mean, there are a lot of players, but we're together a long time, you know, over a four or five year period. Most players are here four or five years. So, uh, you know, when they first come in as true freshmen, you don't really get to know them as well. Mm -hmm. But once they're here a while and, and, and you've been with them a couple of years, it's pretty easy. Interesting. Um, so uh, you have this slogan that you say, all in. So what is the meaning behind it? Well, actually, just basically what it says, we want everybody to be involved. You know, Obviously, it starts here with the coaches and the players. Uh, but we also have a support staff that we, you know, is very instrumental in what we do. Obviously, our fans, our alumni, and our, our donors are very important because without them writing the checks, uh, we won't have the scholarship money to get the most out of this program. And then, obviously, our administration uh, and the community. So it's not just uh, right here in this building. It's throughout the whole community and throughout our the whole state of alumni. I mean, we have alumni that follow us and have sent texts and emails from California, Florida, overseas. Uh, I think I stopped condo since Saturday. I've, I've had over 200 texts uh, from either former alumni, former players, uh, community members, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Lenny. Um, it's pretty interesting meeting you. So, Mercyhurst wasn't your best performance, but you bounced right back. How do you feel about winning MVP? And what was your obstacle or challenges that you had to face? Um, <clears throat> the Mercer performance, you know, it just was a, you know, a little bit of a mental lapse a little bit. You know, I had to get my mind right a little bit. Um, had to take a little bit more time and make sure I was better prepared for the next game. But, you know, we got it We got it out, got the win out, and, you know, just move on to the next game. It's all about the next one. And um, MVP, you know, it was, it was a good feeling, you know, but it's just the win – is everything that I, I ever wanted, you know, that's all I really cared about. You know, the MVP is a bonus, but just getting that win, you know, with the team for this dude right here, you know, that just means everything. Um, also, being that you are a student athlete, is it sometimes hard trying to balance both sides of your lives? I mean, it's definitely hard, you know, and I feel like, you know, with my major, it's not the easiest, you know, but, you know, we got pretty bad majors on this team who are still pulling out 4.0s and super high GPA, so, you know, just got to suck it up and grind and, you know, that's what all in consists of too is making sure you're doing everything you can on this field and also in the school. So just got to be all in. Awesome. Um, what year and major you are? I'm a junior in accounting. Awesome. Do you see yourself actually working in that field or moving forward with a potential NFL career? Uh, I mean, <laughs> a potential NFL career would be nice, but, you know, you got to prepare for, you know, a plan B. So um, I've been studying accounting for my third year now, and so I've been trying to branch out and figure out which route I want to take, you know, I'm leaning more towards auditing, you know, so I'm just trying to prepare myself for whatever situation I have to deal with after graduation. Okay, a guy that likes numbers, I see. Um, this question goes for both of you guys. Um, what is next? What is to be expected, expected at the next game? Well, we feel like we're, we're so to speak, halfway home. You know, we, we talked about winning the conference and then winning the Peace Act, which obviously we've done. Mm -hmm. uh, the next step is the region, and to do that, you know, we have to win the next game. And as we set out to start the season, you know, I think our players have done a great job of just worrying about the next game, mm -hmm. not worrying about too much ahead, not worrying about what's already been done. Um, so right now, we feel like we're, so to speak, halfway home. Okay, all righty. Can you shed some more information on when the next game is and where it will be? Well, it will be a week from Saturday. The Saturday after Thanksgiving, we'll play the winner of Shippensburg and Westchester. Obviously, we just played Westchester, so we'll spend this week, uh, you know, prepping and practicing a little bit for Shippensburg in case they win uh, because it will be a new team for us to get ready for. If Westchester wins, we've already had a week of practice at Westchester. We've already played Westchester. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I think the game's probably a toss-up. So we'll be ready, you know, for whoever we play, we're going to be ready and we're excited about playing at home. All righty. I'll be at that game as well. That's a wrap for today on Hawk Talk. 
I want to thank the coach himself, Coach Tort, and Lenny Williams for being here and talking to me. And I just want to wish the team a big congratulations and good luck on the next game. That's all. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Culture Struggle. As you see here, us at Hulk Talk, we in a little Christmassy mood. But today's guest, we have... Nate, a.k.a. Clout Nate, man. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming. So the first topic of the night. Recently in news, Meek Mill was sentenced two to four years in prison for violating his parole. He was in New York City riding dirt bikes, and he was arrested. Recently in Philadelphia, there was a rally held for Meek Mill. So Nate, do you back up Meek Mill or are you kind of on the side of the justice system? So I'm from I'm from North Philly originally. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Meek Mill fan, so definitely free Meek Mills, but I'm more on, you know, the independent side of it. Like, I understand the cause that they're doing, oh, free Meek Mills, that's, that's what's up, but at the end of the day, you know, he still has to pay a consequence. Uh, and, and he has to, like, go forward with that and basically, like, whatchamacallit, so he violated parole. Okay, he had many times to not do so, and parole is basically like a second chance at life, and he violated, so therefore he gotta pay that consequence. And also, it's more things at stake, like, people could protest for, like, all right, we got bad uh, streets. Protest for fixing the streets, man. Protest for more schools. But do you think two to four years is a little harsh on the sentence? Uh, kind of, depends. I don't really know what he did. They say he was riding dirt bikes in the streets of North, uh, New York City. Yeah, that's harsh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I feel as though that's harsh because, you know, dirt bikes, yeah, you shouldn't ride in, uh, in the street, but he should have been smarter and just got a license for it. That's true, that's true. Honestly. So, I'm hearing that you're a rapper here. Is that yeah, right here? yeah, definitely. Um, so take us a little in depth. What motivated you into becoming a rapper? Like, what's your favorite rapper? Uh, yeah, well, my favorite rapper, you know, as growing up was uh, always Lil Wayne. It's for, it's, be, it's because he's versatile. Like, you know, he can do anything, basically. And definitely his uh, metaphors is on point. That's what I like. Also, like, the, for the new wave is Lil Dirt because he's also versatile, you know. Yeah. He melodizes definitely, his voice, definitely. you know. Different crowds, he, he attracts different crowds. So that's what I like. So that's what basically motivated me. You know, it was more on dedication, you know? What dedicated me was my friend. He said, yo, rap. I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. I did it, and people found my music, so I started being versatile. So I do reggae, uh, rap, R&B. You know, I do different flavors. Everything. Different so, flavors, bro, you got to. The ladies, <laughs> for the ladies. Always for the ladies. So, this upcoming year, 2018, is there any resolutions you have for your music career? Um. Yeah, I'm trying to work on um, basically doing a mix mixtape right now because I'm under a, a little label that um, that my cousin is trying to build up. So I'm like trying to help her too because I'm more like I'm definitely uh, pro life for that. Like I would like to start from the bottom and work our way up. Like I feel as though we should do that. So I'm working on a mixtape. Hopefully during winter break, mm -hmm. be like a little like Christmas theme type. Right, I feel you. I feel so you feel me? <laughs> so I'm working on that. So when I go on my break. I already got uh, music written down, so I'm ready to hop in the stool and get to work it, man.
up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Today, I have with me here the host of the Miss Black and Gold pageant. Now, I know y'all all heard about the show, so now we about to talk about it. Welcome, Julian. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, y'all. So, today, we talking about the pageant, Julian. Now, okay. it was, was this your first time hosting this Black and Gold pageant? This was my very first time hosting the Miss Black and Gold mm-hmm. scholarship pageant. This is the first pageant that we have had in our chapter mm-hmm. for the past... 10 years wow so we brought it back we figured you know let's let's give them a good show Mm -hmm. right so how does it feel bringing back this show you know being as though that it was so long ago that you guys did it like how does it feel bringing back and then to bring it back the iup and to have it doing it with your brothers and stuff like that man i'm gonna tell you man it feels really like an accomplishment Mm -hmm. like it's something that we have been planning Mm -hmm. for about a year wow yeah we've been planning this for a year now Mm -hmm. we've been talking about it we've been you know trying to execute you know it took so much work to actually get things actually uh in place you know, the behind the scenes work was crazy, yeah. man. And, um, you know, it just feels really, you know, ble- we feel blessed, you know, mm-hmm. just as a team to really, you know, be able to bring this back to the campus and deliver it in a way that's, you know, that makes people proud. Mm-hmm. I think that that's, that's important. So, you know, having the whole show and, and setting everything up, did y'all have any, like, any struggles with, with anything and, like, getting the girls coming to the, the practices? Because, you know, as people, we, we, we got some times and struggle, you know, uh, we be having problems being there on time. Did yeah. y'all have people like did y'all any I would complications? Say y'all if had? anybody had any any issues being on time, it was us. Man. Okay, it was, <laughs> it was the right. alphas, man. Mm-hmm. But that's not even to say, um, you know, it's because you know a lot of times. Uh, when we try to schedule things, everybody has different schedules. Mm-hmm. So even us, because we all work. Right. So, you know, we would have the girls at practice at a certain time, and then we would come later mm-hmm. to, uh, you know, help them out with the things that they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say um, just getting everything together uh, mm-hmm. as far as scheduling, mm-hmm. that was probably the hardest part. Right. Because everybody, I so feel like. So many different schedules. You got girls with classes. Mm-hmm. You got girls with student teaching. You mm-hmm. have. Girls who are the hosts of whole TV shows. Right. Yeah. These, these <laughs> wasn't just ain't, these wasn't just no any girls now. Yeah, these girls, man, they, they was just a you know a whole lot of stuff on very campus. accomplished women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's and that's <laughs> that was important. So like out of the show, like all of, all of the girls and the contestants, who would you say your favorite was? If you ain't scared um, to answer that, man. Can I can I give you a top three? <laughs> hey, uh, you can give me a little top three. I'm gonna give you uh, first and foremost. I think Anastasia mm-hmm. was. Um, she she had a very good presentation. Mm-hmm. Um, but aside from even that, aside from the actual presentation of the show, mm-hmm. um, certain girls are just easy, you know, just to work with. Right. Um, but then other girls had so much. Even though they weren't easy to work with. Like to see them flourish mm-hmm. was crazy. Like right. it's certain girls who came from here to here right. in a matter of a couple months, mm-hmm. and it's, it's it's amazing. So I want to say like you know biggest improvement. Um, you know, the, the, the girl who improved the most was probably Candace. Right, um, right. She came from, you know, just being shy to, mm-hmm. you know, really, really challenging herself. And, right. um, you know, I really uh, respect that. Right. Because uh, a lot of women, they'll use the excuse they're shy or scared or nervous. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you see somebody like Candace, who's the same way. She had all those same emotions. Mm-hmm. You see her come up and deliver how she did. Mm-hmm. You know, she got the crowd hype. She got the crowd energized. She definitely did. You know, and then, you know, you got girls like uh, Anastasia, Taya, mm-hmm. and and Taylor, mm-hmm. who were just the inspiration to the entire right. team. I, right, and I was just going to say, like, I love how y'all, you know, bringing this platform to pit these, you know, beautiful ladies on stage to to show, like, you know, there's incredible things that they do. Because, you know, you got some, so many, you know, bashing the, the, the African-American females oh, yeah, nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So to, for you guys to, you know, pit on a show like that, I, I got to commend y'all for that because, like, it's not a lot that, you know, us like students or, or black people or people in general that we do to just praise each other. So right. I feel like for y'all to fit a platform to, to show excellence, not even just black excellence, but excellence in general, in general you know, in, in, in so many different areas, I feel like that's what's important. Like mm. we got to like, you know, stick together and just bring each other up, like lift each other. And to see all the girls, you know, in their own elements and stuff like that, it, it was inspirational. And I feel like, you know, people watching it was inspired because, like, the words, you know, some of the girls were saying, it was like, wow, like, a lot, it was a lot <laughs> of wild moments in that show. Sure, like, that's man. why I, I, I generally enjoyed myself at the show. So, you know, would you guys, like, bring this show back? Is this something that y'all want to continue or a one time thing? What y'all, what For y'all sure, about? man. See, we plan on doing this annually. Mm-hmm. So, this would technically be, if we do it next year, this would be the first annual in a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So, you know, once we bring it back next year, um, it's going to have a lot more buzz than it did this time around, you know. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we're actually grateful that we had so many contestants this time around. Right, yeah, y'all um, had a good amount. E even the recruitment was, mm -hmm. you know, it was a task in itself. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this time around, you know, next time around, rather, the recruitment will do the job, you know, it'll, it'll work. It, itself, we won't mm -hmm. have to do anything. Right. Women will be looking as soon as we put the flyer out. Women will be looking like, oh, right. okay, yeah, they gonna know what it is. Where the tryouts are exactly. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the the way the way the show actually turned out, you know, um, people loved it. Mm -hmm. People want to see it again. So yeah. our job is to serve the community. Mm -hmm. And if you know, women still want that opportunity to shine in front of hundreds of people, mm -hmm. then that's exactly what I'm going to bring to the table. All right, so y'all heard what he said. When y'all see them flyers come out, make sure y'all sign up to be a part of this great show. I want to thank Julian for being on the show. No problem, man. I want to thank you, Tyrone, and the rest of the Hawk Talk crew. for, uh, On behalf of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, we thank you for inviting us on to the show. And we thank you for being on the show, you man. We love just working with the, the other orgs on the campus and just bringing everybody together. I think that's what Hawk Talk's all about, right? For sure, man. So now we have the beautiful winners from the Miss Black and Gold, man. I'm just so excited to see these winners because, you know, I got one of my favorites in the um, top three. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. My name is Eric Doe. I play safety for IUP football. I'm Devon Barnes. I play guard for IUP football. And you're, and you're watching, watching the big, big hit on IUP TV for all Crimson and Hunt coverage. What's up, y'all? You back with T with Tyrone. I'm with the beautiful winners from the Miss Black and Gold Scholarship Pageant. Introduce yourself, ladies. Hello, everyone. My name is Ja'Kyra Simpson. And I'm Anastasia Clayton. And y'all already know me, Taylor Jones. Right, we already know Tay. <laughs> All right, ladies, so y'all just did the Miss Black and Gold Scholarship Pageant. Tell me, you know, how do you feel? Like, what can you say, like, your experience was with it? Well, I have to admit, I am glad that it is over. <laughs> okay, yes. Because it was a wonderful experience. Um, mm -hmm. I got to meet a lot of great women. Um, and I really, like I said, I'm just glad that it's over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I would have to say the same thing as Ja'Kyra. I am happy that it's over just because it, it was a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, also, I met a lot of great people like Taylor, yes, who I yes. never had talked to before. Right. Right. And... Um, Overall, it was a good experience because it's something that I would have never done before. Okay, so, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. it was. Mm -hmm. um, my opinion, it was a great experience. I never thought I would be in a pageant. And then being in this definitely like broke me out my shell some more mm -hmm. because, um, I mean, I am already broken out, but I think this one just definitely <laughs> like, and, you and know, it I, you out. Yes, <laughs> okay. Even more because, like, I am very <laughs> nervous performing in front mm -hmm. of like a whole bunch of people and mm -hmm. in this I got comfortable like they said I did meet interesting ladies I never seen them on campus and then right. now I feel like we're all going to make like a good friendship mm -hmm. you know they were all great and so I love the pageant happy it's over because I get to finally work on my school okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay now I will say like I feel as though like all of the contestants y'all all did so mm -hmm. so so good like mm -hmm. even how you said y'all was all coming y'all was all in your own elements coming mm -hmm. out y'all shells just just being y'all so what can you say like when y'all was up on stage you know what I'm saying? Were you guys nervous? Like, what was the feeling? Like? <laughs> what was going through your head? Like, you was like, listen, should I go out here? Okay. You know, I hope I don't mess up with you okay. thinking about it too much. Yes, yes. You know, did you slip up a thing? You didn't let them see it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right, like, right, right, right. Like, what was going through your um, heads? You know, while y'all was up on the stage and stuff. Okay. Well, first off, we had a week to prepare. <laughs> right. A week. Okay. <laughs> I, can tell you, I don't know if that week was enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Because I was still nervous when I got up yeah. there. But I feel like I feel as though it got to a point where I was just like, you just got to do you, be yourself. Definitely. Be comfortable. Definitely. Like, there were some parts that I know I messed up on, but other yes. people didn't. Yes. But I just played it up. Right. Just As you should. Keep it going. Keep, keep, it, keep, keep, it, keep it going. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I was so nervous. Like, like <laughs> yes. I said, this is something I would have never done in a million years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I did it. And I was super stressed, super nervous about it. And... Like, I knew for sure I was going to mess up. Like, mm -hmm. it was right, like you were right. just so nervous yeah, that, like, yes. that you're just like, all right, you, you're going to mess up. It is what it is. Like, right. <laughs> you I just got to keep rolling with it. it's natural, though. Like, even though, like, the nerves is natural, but the way y'all all, like, you know, played it off, y'all mm -hmm. made it a good show. Right. And I love how y'all all brought y'all own elements. Yeah. Like, you all, you know, made your talent, like, original. Like, this is right, me. You know, yeah. this is what I'm good at. You know what I'm saying? And you yeah. showcased it. And y'all all did great. But yeah, how about you, Tara? Yeah, I was very nervous. My heart was just 
beating yep. so fast. And then, especially because I was like number one, so I yep. was trying not, I was trying to you know, show a good impression. I did mess up with my um, introduction because I just went blank, like, yeah. oh my gosh, but I just played it off, like yep. y'all said. And you know, I think, yeah, like my nerves, like, calm down, I think, after the talent. Like, my, the yeah. talent, when Javon was like, are you ready? You ready? I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, my, oh my God, I was so scared. But when I was on stage, like, um, I got more comfortable. Yeah. And then, mm-hmm. you know, I made sure I made eye contact with That's the judges. <laughs> yeah. like, I made sure. But right. I was very nervous. But it started to, um, like, go away. So, mm-hmm. like, it got better. Yeah. I didn't get so nervous. Show. What can you right. say your favorite part of the show was? Uh, the, uh, the evening gown, you know. <laughs> show, you know <laughs> I had to say nothing, just right, smile, right. and, you know, uh, walk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to the magenta, you know right. what I'm saying? But yeah, that was my favorite part, right. so I had fun. Yeah, how about you? Yeah. My favorite part was my talent because mm-hmm. I really got to incorporate what I'm all about. Like, the, the all the other aspects of the pageant I wasn't so comfortable with, mm-hmm. but when it came to my talent and speaking about history, which is something that I'm so passionate about, mm-hmm. like, I wasn't even nervous. Like, I got up there and I did my thing. Did yeah, that's just how it was. But mm-hmm. so that would definitely have to be my favorite part. Mm-hmm. I would definitely have to mm-hmm. agree. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely the talent yeah. mm-hmm. because like chemistry is a huge passion of mine, and yeah. I got I got to get up there and showcase everyone and show everyone mm-hmm. and teach them this mm-hmm. stuff yeah. Yeah. and make it fun yep. right, and be cute at the same time. <laughs> like, it was a win win. Like that was, was just my best part. Mm-hmm. And I also like the dance. I think I was comfortable mm-hmm. around that too. Okay. When we all got together, like mm-hmm. that'd be another favorite part. Yeah, I love we all showed. Yeah. 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 I was all doing y'all little thing. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just did yeah, the dance. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was lit. It was lit. I can see mm-hmm. that. Okay, so Miss Black and Go. Miss <laughs> Black and Go. Yes. So tell me, how did you feel when you heard them say Miss Black and Go and your name was that? Uh, I was in a moment of shock. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I knew, I felt confident. I was like, all right, girl, I know I did good, but mm-hmm. like, I didn't know I did that good, right. if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I. I was just myself. Mm-hmm. Like I was really in my natural element. And like I said, there were several parts of the show that I messed up, but mm-hmm. apparently that doesn't matter as long as you're yourself and you're passionate mm-hmm. about yeah. it. Yeah, so that's what matters. I was happy with I, my my mom and dad came to mm-hmm. surprise me, so they were up there. My mom was crying, so like Aww. that just was like wow. That right. was just like a Made good moment proud. for me. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me ask you. So just this one question. So if it wasn't you, who would you think you would pick? Other than yourself. Oh, okay. That's a hard one. <laughs> but actually, I, was, but I know this sounds crazy, but mm-hmm. like it was going to be between the two of y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so crazy mm-hmm. because I said that I was like, it's going, it's got to be one of them because mm-hmm. I knew right. y'all were the not the most passionate, but like everybody had their own thing to bring to the mm-hmm. table. And like, y'all boarded the strong. Yeah. 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 And then you take them words right in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> But I, I was like, it's gonna be one of y'all. Mm-hmm. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna be in there. Right? <laughs> and I was like, what? That's right. good. We did place, you yeah, know. We got you know, go right. place, yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how about you? How did you feel when they said Miss Gold and your name was after that? I was very shocked. Like <laughs> I was very, very shocked. Like at first, Javon made eye contact with me before he said my name. <laughs> and I was, gave it away. Right. I was like looking at him like, why are you looking at me? Right, right. Mm-hmm. And he said Anastasia. And I was like, oh, OK. Right, <laughs> so right. I go up. I'm like, wow, mm-hmm. this is such a good surprise. I couldn't like wipe mm-hmm. the smile off my face. I was mm-hmm. like, this is awesome. What right. a pleasant surprise. Yes, yes, yeah. mm-hmm. definitely. So how about you, Tay? Um, I was very happy. I was like, I know that's right. <laughs> Call Listen, you're like, this ain't for nothing. No, <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so when they called my name, I was very happy. Walked up there, you know, crowd, you know, the band around me. Like, uh-huh. I was happy, you know. Right. I was like, I, I did my thing, so mm-hmm. I brought it. So I'm happy. I, I won, you know, Miss Black. So right. yeah. Right. So would you would you guys do the show again? No. <laughs> Yes. No, this was a one-time thing, you know what I'm saying? Check it off my bucket list. Yeah, you know, I got to be in the pageant. Yeah. So. <laughs> it was it was just a lot, you know, and you know we had to do this in a week, you know. It was a lot going yeah. on. Mm-hmm. I had to miss some schoolwork. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> that was the biggest that issue. That was the biggest, mm-hmm. like was missing yeah. the schoolwork. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I personally would say I would do it again you just would. because 
of the opportunities that yeah. came through this. Like I got to meet y'all. Where else would that happen? That's true. You know That's I mean? true. Like, yeah. I got to go. I got to get out my element, do a dance. I got to showcase my talents, right. showcase who I am. Like right. you're not not too many. You don't get too many opportunities to do things like that. Right. Mm-hmm. So for that reason, I would say yes. But for missing out on the schoolwork and stuff, I would say no. You would right. say yeah. Right. That's a good point. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Missing out on the schoolwork. Because y'all said y'all ain't had too much time to get you know yeah, everything together. Right. Mm-hmm. But I think in a little time y'all did y'all put on an we amazing did. show. Yeah, yeah. And for everybody who wasn't there, they missed a great yeah, show. They like, missed it, yeah. Really? Because y'all all did y'all yeah. thing. But yeah, how about you? Would you do it again? Yeah, I agree with them. <laughs> it, it would be it would be a maybe. A maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And it would have to be a I'm not in college still. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a really good experience that would make me reconsider doing it. But I'm not sure. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But it was a great show. Like, mm-hmm. I had fun. Like a lot of people came out, right. you know, to see us and support us. So right. it was great. So what would you say somebody who was interested in this show, Taylor? Like, what what advice would you give them? Would you tell them to do it? What would I, you tell them? I definitely <laughs> feel like they should do it. You know, if you definitely want to break out, like you know, your show some more and just become more confident and like you know, like showcase who you are. Definitely do. It. Like the pageant's fun. If you've never been in one, why not? Like it's definitely like a fun experience. Mm-hmm. So why not? Yeah. Definitely do it. Definitely do um, it. What, yes, yes. Be just, yep. Yeah. yeah, I, I know what I'm trying to say. I can't get out. But do it, yes. Right. Yes. I and mean, how about you? Would you tell them to do it? I would tell them to do it mm-hmm. because I would say that, I mean, if I can do it, then I feel like anybody can do it. Anybody, yeah. And so, I mean, even if you're not the most, like, sassy, outgoing girl, like, obviously, I'm, like, not super sassy. Like, I'm very reserved and stuff. So, like, for me to even place, like, that just shows you, like, you don't have to be, like, so, so, um, like, boom, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, as long as you, you're you confident about what you're bringing to the table and, you know, if you have some kind of talent that, you know, not, not a lot of people do, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. that's still something that you could go and show people. So that's really cool, too. So I would tell, like, any type of girl to do it, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. I would definitely agree. Like I said, it's just the opportunities that came with it. Um, make sure you do your homework though ahead of time. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. you gotta get that done. You got your study situated because it definitely is a time commitment. Mm-hmm. But like I said, at the end of the day, I really feel as though it was worth it. Mm-hmm. It was worth. All right, ladies. So thank you all for being on the show, and thank you all for taking out the time to be on Tea with Tyrone. You guys enjoyed yeah, yourself. Nice. All, yeah. the time. <laughs> all right. So up next, we have one of my favorites, a student here at IUP, Chloe Brown, to sing this Christmas. Stay tuned. Hang on a mistletoe I'm gonna get to know you better This Christmas And as we trim the tree How much fun will be together This Christmas, the fireside is blazing bright. Whoa, and we're caroling through the uh, night. Whoa, this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me. Whoa, yeah. Shake a hand, shake a hand now. Presents and cards are here. My world is filled with cheer. And you, this Christmas, and as I look around. Your eyes outshine the town, they do. This Christmas, the fireside is blazing bright. And we're caroling through the night. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me. Whoa, whoa, shake your hand, shake your hand, oh. No. Whoa, na na na, whoa, na na na, na na na. 
na 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 This Christmas a doo doo a doo doo a doo doo a doo doo Fireside is blazing bright And we're caroling through the night And this Christmas will be so special for you and me Yes indeed Oh, oh, oh. Shake your hand, shake your hand now Baby Shake your hand, shake your hand. We'll be together to make this Christmas. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Da di da di di da di di da di da di 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 da di da di da di 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 Presenting Schizophrenia! Hey everyone, I'm Amelia. And this is Nasir. And you're watching Creative Corner. Yo, I smell pancakes. I don't smell no pancakes. I think she's hungry, y'all. I'm hungry. You wanna make breakfast? Let's make breakfast. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> Alright, so we got Fade in the kitchen with us making us some breakfast, you know. Yeah, we're gonna make some pancakes, some eggs, some bacon, you know. The breakfast essentials. Take it. Good. Okay. So, what's the best uh, photo shoot you ever had? Best photo shoot up? Oh, man. <laughs> it's a lot to think. Yo, no, I know exactly which one. It is with. I think every time me and Swipe, me and Swipe, we do a lot of photo shoots. We did a lot of photo shoots last last year. Okay. I think every photo shoot I've done with him, it just turned out great. Like, the lighting was always perfect. We always had natural lighting. We never had like lights. Right. We had been to some crazy places. We went on a roof, rooftop. Uh... Ask you a couple questions too. So to start off with, how long have you been doing photography? What made you want to get into photography? Uh, I started. I think I was about. Might have been in the ninth grade, and I would just start like, taking pictures of my cell phone in school. So, like, I was just, like, hey, freeze in the hallway. I'm like, to the teacher, like, freeze. I'm taking pictures. And people were just watching you taking pictures, right? Yeah, it was, it was like, why not? Great. I'm not taking pictures. I was like, I was like a real well known kid because my hair had to fade, so I had the hair out. Oh, so that's why your name's Fade. Yeah. Say I'm looking at my phone right here on the table. Um, I look at it, I'm like, wow, I like that. I like the way it's the aesthetic. Yeah, I like the aesthetic of the phone, the table, the food on the table. And I'll like, be like, oh, let me capture this moment. So I'll get the camera, snap a flip, and then I'll throw all my edits and make it look how I want to look. So you talk about edits. I follow on Instagram, like, you got a real, like, 90s type vibe going on. Like, what's, how do you edit pictures with that saturation? And like that death, that old school, like I'm on the block of Harlem. Right. <laughs> so, all right, so I feel like anybody can put a picture up on Instagram, right? Right. So, if you add, I feel like if you add a little flavor to it, it'll make it like 10 times. A little spice? Better. Yeah, a little bit. So, I'll, I'll just like make it certain colors pop out. Um, I'll darken, darken the photo a little bit, maybe, or turn the exposure up, you know. Little subtle things to make it look not too, not too fake. I don't want it to look too fake. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I would say natural. So I think that 
while I'm taking a picture, I'll make sure that my subject is very comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure everything we have, we have food or whatever, we can be good. Like, right. I want them to feel as comfortable as possible so that they're not nervous or anything like that. Cool. So, describe to like your fan base and your viewers, who is Faye, what is Faye, how does you get the name Faye? Like, what is this persona that you the put on yourself? Because people know you and you know, all right, so I'll start out where I got the name from. So this is about, this is like maybe middle school. I might have been in seventh grade. Went to a new barbershop. So I'm scared. I'm like, I don't know what to get. <laughs> so I'm just like, I don't say, I say what I want. I'm like, yeah, just give me a regular. <laughs> and then the guy's like, what? So he just cuts my hair without saying anything. He just gave me a fade. So I just have the sides cut off and I got the top dark. I'm like, oh, I like that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then everybody in the shop's like, yeah, you look like Will Smith, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I might, I might rock with this drum. And then that was also the time where I was watching a lot of old school videos. So I would watch stuff like Kid and Play. And I was really inspired mm -hmm. by their hair. Right. Um, I kept it like that. Um, my persona. I think I'm like a very quiet type of guy. Like, I don't say too much. But when I say something, I feel like sometimes, like, it's impactful. Yeah. It's like grits. Yeah. It's like grits. Like grits. Yeah. Yeah. Breakfast yeah. talk. <laughs> I'm Elia. I'm not here. And when you say versus with? Fade. Hit him up for all the picks and flips and be weird with album dropping in February. See you soon. Try to first. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Brooke. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Troy. I'm Nyjah. And I'm Zach. I'm Maya. And I'm Taylor. I'm Amelia. And it's Nasir. And you're watching Hop Talks New, New Year's Edition. Edition. I mean, honestly, it's been pretty good. I've just been chilling most of the entire year. <laughs> just chilling? Yeah, not, not good, not bad, just... Yeah, mine was a no. pretty typical year. A lot of eventful things happened for me. 2017, yeah. pretty big one. Good? Or... Um... Good and bad, I guess. 2017 was a good year for me. I mean, I, I made my uh, my 2016 resolutions come true. That's awesome. I wanted to make these lists, did that, you know? Um, was 2017 a good year for you? 2017 definitely taught me a lot of things. It was new experiences. Like, I learned, I met a lot of people. I learned a few things, so. I could rate it, like, a six out of 10. It wasn't. The best year I could have had, but it was a decently good year. The same, it was like a seven for me. Mm -hmm. It was in the middle, honestly. It was good mentally. I took a lot of notes from it, but overall, like on the outside physically, it wasn't it wasn't the best, honestly. How about for yeah. you? Um, 2017 <laughs> was an interesting one. It is one for the books. Um, I, it was okay, I guess. Like, it was good. It wasn't bad, but, you know. 2017 started off great because 2016 wasn't good, so I, I came in with, like, a great mindset, but right now, 2017 is. Why are everybody saying 2016 was a bad year? Because it was, it was never a bad year. It was. It 2017 has been trash. No, 2017 started off good, but no, now I'm like, 2017 it's from a the no start for me. It's trash. gotta go. <laughs> I'm hoping for 2018 now, because 2017 when it Prayers trash are up for 2018. Ago. Facts. <laughs> so for me, you know, 2016 was like the worst year ever for everyone, right? Not for me. Not for you? No. Well, 2016 was the worst year for all me and my little friend circle. So 2017 came in and like killed it, like in a good way. Like 2017 was lit for me. How was it for you? Um, well, I turned 21 and I went to like five different places different states so got things to you know it's been a good year for me I ain't got no complaints at the beginning of the year I was up it's about to go to the next year when I'm a little in the middle you feel me usually at the end of the year I'm down so this is this is a good year. okay has it taught you anything yeah actually I feel like I learned a lot in 2017 because like since I did go through such big events, I feel like it taught me a lot about like myself and how I want to act in the future. So I kind of just learned that I want to be more independent and just like rely on myself like for my own happiness and just stuff like that. And just basically just go with the flow and not take life too seriously, I guess. And just have fun. Yep. You know? How about you? 2018, year of fun <laughs> is what I would say. How about you? Um, taught me, I mean, 
I guess it did teach me to be more independent too, because like I did transition, you know, freshman year, college, living on my own, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I would say that too. <laughs> and 2017 taught me to be on time to all my classes. <laughs> and because that's a major key, you know? Mm. I schedule all my classes at 11 o'clock this year because I know I hate waking up. Yeah, me too. So, you should try it. Uh, what what is 2017 did for you? <laughs> I def 2017 taught me to only rely on myself because you can't rely on anybody for anything. And like, if you have a good opportunity open for you, you take it. Don't look back. Just run with that opportunity and worry about yourself and nobody else. Good. Always put yourself first. It has taught me a lot of life values. It taught me how to grow up, honestly. It taught me to grow up because um, you know, I've always knew what I wanted to be, but I feel like this year taught me to, it pushed me to be more professional. It taught me to handle situations more, and it showed me that there's more to life, because I really wasn't exposed to that much and everything. So I just feel like with this year, I feel like it just taught me more um, what life is about and how to go about it differently. Okay. What about for you? For me, I feel like I stepped out of my comfort zone a lot, so mm -hmm. I mean, I got better at doing that. Okay, okay, I'm feeling it. I'm right, all right, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. <laughs> but yeah, um, and just basically, like, I've been doing so well in my classes because I just stopped skipping class. And know? that's what I like to hear. Yeah. I'm better, right? Okay, all right. Yeah. 2017 taught me who I am. For real, for real. And who who are you? I don't know. <laughs> so you know, but I feel like I'm a type, I'm a creative person, mm -hmm. and I really like want to go into like making movies and stuff. True, so that's really true. I found out that's what I wanted to do this year. You figured out what you want to do. Yeah. That's good. That's nice. Twenty twenty seventeen taught me. <sighs> don't give up too easily <laughs> because <laughs> I'm ready to give up. Like whenever something goes wrong, I think the worst. So I was like, okay, this, it's not the end of the world, and I need to refocus and get it together. So. Get it together, yep. now, <laughs> right now. I don't know, I guess to not put nothing past nobody. I feel that. You know what I learned though? I really learned that I'm uh, a little more confrontational than everyone. Like, I, I learned that if I really don't like something, I'm not gonna do it, but other people ain't like that. So it's a little weird, I come off as the negative one. But like that's what 2017 has taught me because I haven't been afraid to tell people I'm not about to do it. It made me, what's that word when you come out of your shell? Outspoken, well, self-confident. We'll okay. Self-confident. That okay. One's the best I think one. everybody should be confident. Facts. I hope that y'all learn that in this next year coming up. Yeah, confidence is key. Okay, so what are some New Year's resolutions that you have coming up for 2018? Mm, I guess I could just say you know the cliche like you know try to do better in school, yeah. you know, all the other things, like go to the gym, all that stuff, eat better. <laughs> I know, I say that every year. And not going like to do it, person, but. I don't do it. Um, mine probably, I maybe just like get up and like be more ready for the day, maybe be like a more morning person, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of, I'm not a morning person. I'll sleep as late as I can. I'm cranky. So for, I'm going to say my re resolution is just like everyone else's work out, like get better grades. I definitely should go to classes more often than I do now. I just get tired and you know those 9 a.m.s get a little too early sometimes. Too early. So I schedule all my classes later for next semester so I don't miss classes as often. But yeah, eat better. Yeah. What about you? My New Year's resolution, I want, my, I, got, I had to reschedule my New Year's resolution because I wanted to travel. But I'm not 21 yet, so I won't be able to get in a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> but if I had to make a New Year's resolution, it would just be to get better every day. Yeah. I'm coming in for 2018. Let me tell you, these lessons in 2017 okay. taught me to come for everything that I want in 2018. Now, I know a lot of people be saying, I just, no, 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 no. I got my list ready. Like, <laughs> I need my car, like, I need my Dean's list. Um, I need my wardrobe to come up. I need my personality to come up. I need yes. my weight to come up because I've been trying to gain weight and it hasn't worked, you know? I'm just <laughs> trying to just, you know, just overall just go forward with my 2018, honestly. Yeah. What about for you? Um, probably to keep doing well in class and um, that's what made that. save money <laughs> um, and 
to get like more fit, I guess, like to start working out and eating yes, better. Yes, health as well. It nice. really helps as well. Whenever something goes wrong, I think the worst. So I was like, okay, this, it's not the end of the world, and I need to refocus and get it together. Get so. it together yep. now, <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. So, what's your New Year's resolution? I got a few. One is to start waking up earlier because you know how some people they chalk. have like some time. <laughs> Why is that chalk? <laughs> you have some time throughout the day, you know, in the morning to get ready, eat breakfast. But I wake up literally just in enough time for me to get ready and go to class. And that's not good. <sighs> I'm trying to go to more, like, I, I don't, I kind of be skipping classes sometimes. And I'm trying to go to every single class, like, just don't miss any. So. That's your only two right now that you can think of. That I can think of. I'm pretty, there's a long list. It is a long list. There's a so. long list. My first one is to go to the gym more. Cause, you True, know, I, I tried. Tyrone. I tried. Tyrone, he, don't ever, if y'all listening, do not ever go to a Tyrone workout. Because he tried I heard to kill me. They are deadly. <laughs> but and hire him though, book him. <laughs> my other New Year's resolution is to put out a couple movies, projects. Can I be in it? By the end of this, maybe. I want to feature maybe. in it. Maybe. Wait, we'll I got see. one for you, Zach. I got one for you. Text back. <laughs> Answer your phone, text back. What are you not texting back for? <laughs> I text back. Don't listen to them. I text no, back. He don't he don't text back. I'm the he, best communicator. I could be like, Zach, you know, where you at? I Walk text up back like, right away. <laughs> Tyrone had to tell me one day he blatantly ignored my message. So no, I <laughs> New Year's resolution. No, but, text back. Let's back. end it this. We ended this right here. <laughs> okay, so there's always three because you gotta have two that will definitely fold and then one that you can definitely do. So that's how I work. So the first one's gonna be no cussing. Second one has to be giving up flaming Hot Cheetos. And the third one is, I should learn a language because there's apps for that. And you should all learn languages. What language though? Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin. I was thinking the same thing, that's so crazy. Either that or Japanese, I didn't know which one to choose to be no, honest. they're close, you could do them both. But Japanese is, well, Chinese is so What's hard. What's your New Year's resolution? I don't know, uh, to graduate on time? Yes, let's go, let's go graduation. graduation. You got it. Hello, it's Maya Webb bringing you your last upcoming events for the fall semester. Finals begin December 12th through December 15th, so it's a good idea to start preparing for those exams soon. Make sure you go to tutoring and the writing center so you can pass your classes. Have you been thinking about taking winter classes? If so, they begin December 21st through January 12th. So make sure you sign up for them ASAP. The Indiana Community Choir is having a concert on December 16th. It will be located in Cogswell Hall, room 121 from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So come out and enjoy some Christmas music. Do you have any friends that celebrate the Jewish holiday Hanukkah? Don't forget that their holiday begins on December 12th. Hanukkah lasts for only eight days and is a Jewish festival of lights. The Kwanzaa celebration honors African American heritage, and this holiday is celebrated on December 26th through January 1st. If you know someone who celebrates this holiday, make sure to wish them a happy Kwanzaa. And last but not least, there's Christmas. Christmas is on December 25th and is a holiday celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. That's all the events I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching Hawk Talk second season. I'll see you in the spring. I'm Maya Webb signing off. All of us from Hawk Talk would like to wish you happy holidays and happy new year. <laughs>